out there in internet land and sci-fi channel, my name is Vivian Vermouth. I'm a Dallas-based makeup and hair artist. I also do special effects work as well and body painting. I'm also a burlesque performer. So you can imagine that my life is pretty interesting. So I got started a little over 10 years ago doing hair and makeup, working for different makeup counters and makeup companies, and found out that I liked it a lot more than what I was going to school for, which was painting. Essentially, it's the same thing, only painting on someone's face or body. So I really, really enjoyed it, and I fell in love with doing it, and I've been doing it ever since. Um, I'm actually born and raised in Texas. I have been living here my entire life, all 28 years, and I've fallen in love with doing everything artistic. I don't have a lot of experience with making appliances. However, the experience that I have had making them have always turned out well. I just don't have a huge resource to be able to get like five gallons of you know, foam latex and make a body. So it's not exactly something I get to do a lot, but when I do do it, it's a lot of fun and I have a good time with it. So what I'm gonna do for you today, guys, is something a little bit different than all the submissions I've seen. Most of the applications of submissions I've seen have been something with gore or horror or something kind of on the gross side. And while that's really cool, that's one of my favorite things to do. No one, everybody loves a good zombie. I want to do something that's going to be a little bit different because I really love the fantastical side of makeup more than the mythology based. So what I'm going to do for you today is kind of a water nymph creature. So it'll be a little bit more beautiful, a little bit more color. I really want to display my use of shading, my use of color choice and my use of, um, not really appliances per se, but my use of on-skin application as far as uh, latex use, uh, rigid collodion use, and whatnot. So come on back, let's get it going.
Okay, and now we're completed. I, the only thing I, I didn't show you here a moment ago is I put my other ear on and I also put my little octopus friend in my hair. Um, everything else was done during the time lapse. It took about 35 minutes, a little bit over the 30 minute mark, but ooh, you know, hey, it happens. Um, everything you see here besides the ears is just either body paint or regular makeup. So everything is just done with shading. I've used absolutely no airbrush work, all brushes by hand. Uh, there's no prosthetics on my skin with the exception of the ears. So everything you see is done just on myself. My eyebrows have been covered over. I did use a nose scar wax with a little bit of latex over the top to smooth the surface. And then everything else is just regular makeup and regular paint. So I hope you enjoy it. I hope that this is um, a good choice outside of gore. And I hope that you like it. And I hope to hear from you all soon. Thank you very much.